sorry sorry thank you uh, someone who said akshita or someone yes uh, can you see my screen yes sir thank you uh, so this is the technique we are going to apply on the bubble chart so uh, take any any number of uh, any value which is there in the list so you can tell any number so anyone tell the numbers order you are going to sort it down anyone in the class tell the numbers to sort no one okay i'll myself will okay so 11 uh, 15 uh, 15 11 15 uh, 3 6 and 10 is it possible to assign one array to another array so like you can get the existing array is possible to assign one array to another array like you can get yes it is possible yes it is possible to assign so you can uh, take the new array and copy all the elements into uh, that element using a for loop same as a for loop okay so that means for example uh, there is a int a of 10 you have read the elements into this and you have declared the empty array which is 10 and for i equal to 0 i less than uh, n i plus plus as an element for example you have read the elements into this you have elements in the this array a a this array so what you going to do is just b of i equal to a of i so all the elements which is there one by one will be copied into the location copied into the b array this is how to copy the elements you cannot directly write uh, a of 10 equal to b of i so this is the e copying each one by one element in the array so direct logic for i equal to 0 i less than i plus plus this is the logic we are going to use to copy for example there is elements in this array there are elements in this array but there is no elements in this other element, other uh, variable this other type of array and we are going to copy the elements from a to elements b so that the logic is this one the elements one by one will be copied in a that is first element to the next element first element first index of this array to next the sec first index of b array uh, second index of a array to second index of b array Third index, next like that, it goes on up to the n n minus one value, n minus one index. Okay, this is how to copy the element. You will get the um, your uh, array. Okay. Yes. Someone. What is the doubt? Is there any doubt? Okay, so then seven, fifteen, three, six, ten, oh, seven. So these are the numbers in my array. So I'm going to sort it out in the uh, increasing order. I have to make them into increasing order. So let's take this is the element. What how many element? One, two, three. Five six. So my size of array is six. My size of array is a six. What is the logic? first? We we'll discuss how to. What is the logic? And after that, we'll discuss how to implement that logic using the program. Okay. First, I'll discuss how, what is the logic. Okay. After that, how to implement that logic using the program. Now, uh, observe carefully. Observe carefully. So this is the. Uh, uh, let's take this is a uh, batch one. Why I'm taking? Why I'm telling this batch one? I tell. This is the batch one, uh, or else the loop one. So now I'm comparing this element with this element, with this element, so this element with this element. Eleven with fifteen. Is that eleven is greater? Remember, this should be greater. The first element, the first should be greater, or this should be lesser. Is this is greater? No, this is not greater. Just increment the so these two. So this is, like, for example, like eleven. Like, we should go and it's like this. We are going to check this. With this, so 
No, no, check 15 with this three. Yes, 15 is greater than 15 is greater than so that. So I'll write one by one, step by step, step one, step two, like that. So step one. I'm comparing 11 with 15. 11 with 15. Is there any, is there 11 is greater than 15? No, it is not true. Therefore, I'll write as it is. This is step one. 11, 15, 3, 6, 10, 7. Next, I'll compare 15 with 3. I'll increment the uh, loop and uh, increment the variable. And I'll compare 15 with 3. Yes, there is a 15 is greater than 3. Therefore, swap to two elements. So I'm going to swap the two elements. Yeah, now, sir. step two. Yes, sir. Step two. So this is 11 will be added. Now 3 will be coming here. 15 comes here. 6 comes here. 10 here. And 7 here. Now increment the loop. Now we are here. So the check 15 is greater than 6. Yes. 15 is greater than 6. There is a swap. Swap. So what is the step 3? 11. 3. Now there is a swap. 6, 15, and 10, and 7. Now, next in next uh, level, so 15 with a 10, 15 with a 10. So com compare 15 with a 10. Yes, it is 15 is greater than S, 15 is greater than S. Therefore, swap. swap. Next, what is step 4? 4 is equal to 11 as it is, 3 as it is, 6 as it is, but here 10 and 15. Now, 7. Okay, now compare 15 with the 7. 15 with a 7. Is it uh, greater? Yes, it is greater. Swap 15 with a 7. Sorry. With a seven. So, what is the step 3? Step 5. Step 5. What do 11, 3, 6, 10, and here 7 and 15. Okay, so we have completed total. So, we, have, we cannot increase this because we don't have any other element here. So we can we come up to back this. So what is this element? We are going to compare. So this is the element is the first element, the second element. I will loop up, up to where n minus 2 only. I have to loop up to where n minus 2 only. So that means if the j I've, I've taken j this value. This is a j value. This is j plus 1. Sorry, this is a j value. This is a j plus 1. I'm comparing that a of j is greater than a of j plus 1, like this. J plus one greater than so where should I where should I stop to where I should I go only up to n minus two because I should not go further because I cannot go so we'll discuss this this, this thing later detail but we are stopping here this is called as batch one okay how many steps we have done five steps but how many numbers are there how many values are there six we have done how many number of times uh, iterations? That is six number of times. That is how many times n minus one time iterations. And now what is this one? This batch one. Do we have in elements in the uh, sorted order? No, this is not the sorted order. Next, again, start from the next starting. So what is this? So batch two, I'm writing a batch two. So I'll write a small, so because there is not enough space. So 11, 3, and 6, 10, uh, 7, and Again, I'll start from the starting. Compare 11 with 3. 11 with 3. So is that 11 is greater than 3? Yes. This is step 1. What is step 1? There is 11 is greater than 3. So that was uh, So what is uh, 3? 11, 6, uh, yes, 3, 11, 6, 10, 7, 15. Now, next way we have, yes. So, is there uh, 11 greater than 6? Yes. Swap. Next, step 2. What is step 2? 3 and 6, 11, 10, 7, 15. Now, where we are here? 11. With 10. Is it uh, greater? Yes, it is greater. Step 4. Sorry, step 3. 3, 6. Uh, what is this again? 10. This is a 
10, 11, 7, 15. Where we have here? Yeah. So again, is that 11 is greater than 15? Yes. Start. So now, step four. Three, six, 10, 11, uh, 7, 11, 15. Again, compare 11 with 15. Is that 11 is greater than 15? No, it is not. So what is step five? There is no sub. Step five, three, six, 10, seven, 11, 15. Done. This is batch two. No sub is attached. Next, we have done. Up to where we came here, we cannot go further. We cannot go further. There's no element. So I'm stopping it. Again, batch three. Batch three. What is batch three? Again, come here. What is this? Three, six, 10, and 7, 11, 15. And starting from the next first element. Compare 3 with 6. What is step 1? Step 1. Compare 3 with 6. Is it uh, greater? No. I'm not swapping it. 6, 10, 7, 11, 15. Is the 6 is greater than 10? No. There is no swapping. Step 2. 3, 6, 10, 7, 11, 15. Compare this 10, 6 with 10. Sorry. 6, 10 is completed. Sorry. And compare 10 with 7. Yes, this is a swap. Yes, there is a swap. Because 10 is greater than 7. So step 3. <coughs> uh, here, uh, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, now 10 with 11. Is there a sir? No, there is no sir. Step 4, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Next, compare 11 with 15. Is there a sir? No. Step 5, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. No, sir. We are complete. Okay, next. Batch four. Next, what is this? Where, where we have come? Uh, three, sorry, three, six, seven, ten, eleven, ten, ten, eleven, ten. So by saying this, this is already sorted. But as per steps, as per the steps, we have to continue. We have to continue. Step, step uh, one. Step one. So what is this? Swap. Is there a swap? No. Six, seven, ten, eleven, fifteen. Check this. Is there a swap? No. Step two, three. 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Next, 7 with a 10. Is there a step? Step 2, step 3. 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Is there a step? No. Next, 10, 11. No. Step 4, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Lift in. Six. Step five. Three, six, seven, ten, fifteen, sorry, eleven, fifteen. Sorry. Eleven. Again, there is no stop. This is batch five. Uh, next. Step one. What is this? Uh, three, six, seven, ten. 11, 15. Next step one. Uh, compare. Again, I'll come see 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Step two. 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Step 3. 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Step 4. 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Step 5. 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 15. Okay, we have done batch 5.
if at all so here this is there is a uh, uh, what do you, what do you say this is a, a easy case where is a, already in the step uh, in the first three steps only that has been started but in the uh, worst case this is one average case this is average case after three batches after three iterations we have uh, came to the uh, sorted order but there if there are elements which are not in the sorted order which is, which is the worst case after a batch by all the elements will be sorted all the elements will be sorted so what is the batch by how many how many numbers there are n number of elements n number of elements we are going to do this batch process how many times n minus one time and the comparisons how many up to where n minus two so comparisons are up to n minus two and and batch process has to done up to where n minus one how many times we have to repeat this n minus one time n minus one time and uh, up to how many times we have done it? n minus two actually this n minus two this can be decreased further n minus two can be decreased further i'll tell you how it can be how it can be decreased okay so is there any doubts up here anyone in the class no sir so but as per this list as per this list we have got the sorted order up to three steps three steps so that is three batches but if at all the elements are in the uh, first case or somewhere they are unordered we are going to get the order after n minus 1 batches n when n minus 1 batches what is n here number of elements elements in the array if there are n number of elements we have to iterate for n minus 1 batches n minus 1 batch same process has to be iterated for n minus 1 batches okay this is for purple sort okay done and as i said n minus 2 i can be further can be decreased as i said what is this n minus 2 what is this n minus 2 the comparisons the number of comparisons in each step how many time number of times we are going to go and remember 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 see here what is the highest highest uh, number that is the, what is the largest number among this uh, list among this list total this is the list i considered this is the list i considered what is the largest among this list 15 is the largest and see in the first iteration itself see in the first iteration itself the 15 has gone to the last see what is the after result 15 has gone to the last and what is the further highest after 15 what is the further highest 11 see 11 will be going last but one last but one in the second iteration see second batch after second batch, where the 11 gone? Next, 10. 10 will be going to this place after third iteration. And if at all, the other further, uh, further one, which is the 7, is the next highest. Next highest, up to the 10, after the 6th is 7. 7 will be gone to this, this actually, but here it has been done actually. Uh, this is there the same in the third place only. That is the reason. That is the reason. Fourth place only. That is the reason it has come here. But the next will come here. Next number will be coming here after the fourth batch. Fifth batch will come here. So like that. After that, that means what I'm trying to tell you here it is, when the, in the first iteration itself, you take any highest number in the loop, in, in the in list that will be going, going to the last in the first iteration. The second highest will be going into the last in the uh, uh, second iteration. The third highest will be going into the last in the third, third iteration. Third, fourth IS will be going to fourth iteration. Like that, it goes on. That means how many number of comparisons we are doing here? Here doing, we are doing n minus two comparisons. And one, two, three, four, five. So, uh, so we are doing n minus one comparisons. So n minus one comparisons to tell, tell there that. But we are going to write loop in the different way. Uh, n minus one comparison. So, sorry, it is n minus not n minus two. It is n minus one comparison. We are going to do. And if at all, if, as I said, as I said, in the batch one, the batch one is fifteen came last. Should I should I check? Should I check? 
after uh, after this iteration should i check the 11th one 11th with the 15 because already 15 is the last 15 is the last the highest one is at the last highest one is the last i can stop here up to here the iteration because the highest one is up to highest one is gone to its place which is to be there in the last place which is gone already gone to the last place in the first iteration only post iteration only no need to compare here and then in the next in the next iteration i am not going to go and compare up to here because already 11 and 15 is there in this place have compare up to here only in the next iteration i'll be comparing up to here only in the next iteration i'll comparing up to here only in the next iteration i'll be comparing up to here only so like that we are going to go we are going to go and decrease the number of number of iterations comparisons we are going to decrease the number of comparisons number of compare so how we are going to decrease if at all loop is going on increasing loop is going on increasing we are going to decrease the number of iterations how we are going to decrease i'll see i'll tell you how how, how it will be done but remember this what is this so what I, what i'm trying to tell you here it is in each iteration each batch process the highest one is going with the first highest going with the last next next highest is going to the last like that in each process is going on so the same logic is uh, doing here and that means we are taking in the last we are going pushing on the all the highest elements to the last so this is the logic behind the bubble sir so pushing all the highest elements to the last every time in the first iteration first highest next iteration like that if at all if, I'm, if all the elements are in the uh, increasing order let's take 15 11 and 10 7 and uh, 6 3 so tell me how many how many times we are going to do this batch process 15 will be compared here and directly i'm writing i'm not writing steps and 11, uh, 11 should be written here 15 right should be written here 7 6 3 so 15 comparing with the 10 again so 11 10 15 and here again 15 will be compared with 7 and so i'll write 7 6 3 15 will compare with 7 11 10 7 15 and 6 3 again 15 is compared with 6 and 11 10 7 6 15 3 again 15 is compared with 3 and 11 10 7 6 15, 3 15 the highest one gone to last we have completed how many number of sorry, how many number of iterations how many number of comparisons one two three four five six sorry, five 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 comparisons done next in the next batch what is the next batch we are going to do we'll come, uh, check 11 uh, 10 7 6 uh, 3 15 compare 11 10 so 10 10 will be here 11 will be here so next 11 7 7 6 3 15 so 11 with 7 and 10 here 7 here 11 here and 6 here 3 here 15 here next 11 6 again swap 7 here 10 here 7 here 6 here 11 here 3 here 15 here and compare 11 with 3 yes 10 here 7 here 6 here 3 here 11 here 15 here and we are not we are only to compare because up to here it has been swapped the, so in the order 15 is already in the order which is in the first place that we have decreased the number of the next batch this is a batch one sorry so uh, this is a batch one this is batch and batch three batch three so in the batch three again take the 10 7 6 3 11 15 so compare 10 with 7 so 7 here 10 here 6 here 3 here 11 here 15 here 10 with 6 7 here 6 here 10 here 3 year, 11 here 15 here and 10 with 3 and 7 here 6 year 3 year 10 year 11 15 so okay no need to compare because already they are in the sort so next we have decreased in next batch three so batch four batch four i'm writing the same this logic seven two six three ten eleven fifty so seven six 
seven, six, six years, seven years, uh, three years, ten years, eleven years, seventeen years, seven with three. So six years, seven years, and sorry, three years, seven years, ten, eleven, fifteen. Done. So they are in the sort order. No comparison. Decreased. Next batch five. Next uh, six years, uh, three years, seven years, ten years, eleven. So eleven years, fifteen years. Let's compare six with three. So subs three years, six years, seven, ten, eleven, fifteen. So they are in the order. So no, no sharping required. No comparison required. So we are going on decreasing. How many number of times we have to do this batch process? Same pi number of times. That is n minus one number of times. But how many number of comparison we have to do? The first in the first batch, one, two, three, four, five. So that means n minus one time we have done. So here in the second batch, one, two, three, four. So here n minus two times we have done. In the batch three, one, two, three, three only. So n minus three. Here in the batch four, one, two. So how many number of batch we have done? N minus uh, four. Here n minus five. That means one only. So if I tell you again, it is the six and one one comparison we have done. So that means as per the rule, as per the rule, we have to compare each and every element. But we have made making this work faster, making this work faster by decreasing the number of comparisons. Okay, understand the two set two sets and this one. Okay, so how many number of times I have done here batch? How many batches we have done? N minus one batches. So, ikkadai me karda main. I am my karda main. The first case we have done in only three batches, but here why we have done? It's the worst case because all are in the unsorted order. Everything like in the increase decreasing order. So, decreasing order we have to make the increasing order. So, this is the worst case. In the worst case, we have to go for how many number of times? N minus one number of batch times. We have to iterate the same logic for each n minus one time. So, but we are decreasing number of comparisons. We're decreasing number of comparisons. Okay, done. Understood? Any doubts up to you? No, sir. Okay, so I'm implementing the logic. Sorry. So first, uh, read the array. So read the array values. You know how to read the array values. It means read the size first. Read the size and read array values. I'm not not going to like go into the implementation like totally how to read. You know how to read the array values. How to read the size first. You read the size values. After read the array values. And no need to take your search values. A query value, no need to which element to be searched. This is not searching element. Searching. So just we have to make them into sort. Of. Okay. So after reading more elements, so now I'm going to write the logic. First, for i equal to I'll start every time I'll start zero. So this first for loop is for first for. Remember, I uh, so uh, instead of writing uh, this directly, you, you may not understand. <laughs> so I'm writing for j equal to zero, j less than n minus one, j plus plus. Open rates, and I have to compare. For example, there are the elements. Uh, let's take uh, 7, 3, 6, 15, 10, 11. These are numbers. I'm going to compare this element with this element. If the j value is 0, first I'll start with the j equal to 0. This is a 0th element, and I have to compare this element with this element. How I have to compare? This is j, and this is j plus 1. How I'm going to compare? If that is what is j? This is a of j. Element, I have to compare with element, so the, not the index. So J will be showing only index, sorry. J 
is greater than so this if this is greater than this yeah i have to check this how to check this one element j plus 1 if a of j is greater than a of j plus 1 if j start from here and j plus 1 and if this is true what i should do i have to replace this element here i have to replace this element what do you mean by that swap we have to swap the element how to swap what is the logic for swapping element take the one temporary element so you declare here only temp temp here so store the temp element here this element here for example this element is a this element is b for example for timing remember that okay this is a temp so we are going to swap this element this value to here this value to here so temp equal to a a equal to b b equal to a sir a b equal to temp is that right we are going to write the same logic we are going to write for the swapping temp equal to a so a value will be stored into temp and b value will be stored into a now the temp value which is there which is previously stored in a value to temp that will be stored into b this is the logic to write the same logic i'm going to but what is a here a of j j what is b here a of j plus what is this element a of j what is this element a of j plus 1 i'm writing here a temp equal to a of j a of j equal to a of j plus 1 a of j plus 1 equal to temp i have swapped it this is this is for swapping so you know what is swapping up to where we are going up to here we are going this is for like that but as i said as i said this steps this all the steps has to be iterated for how many times n minus 1 times so this batches what is the batches first step this is only for first time we are going to iterate this element this element up here with this element this with this This element, this element. What happens? What happens here? By using this logic, Uh, three, six. For example, these are the elements. So what I'm doing, what I'm going to do, so I'll compare this element with this element. So if this is what is this? A of zero. This is A of zero. So A of one. A of two. A of three. A of four. A of five. Is that right? So now, so I've started J value with zero. Yes, zero. Now I'll compare J is equal to zero. Zero is less than how many number of elements? One, two, three, four, five, six elements. Therefore, it is five. Zero is less than five. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Next, uh, next in the next iteration, next iteration. What is next iteration? So zero, a of zero, is greater than a of zero. That is one. Zero plus one is one. So a of one. So a of zero is greater than a of zero plus one. So yes. What is a of zero? Seven. Is greater than three? Yes, it is true. If it is true, I'm going to solve. This is the logic for solving. I solve down. After that, I solve down. So this is three. Seven, six, fifteen, ten, eleven. Done. So I think this is done. Next, in the next iteration, in the next, what I have to do? The next iteration, what I have to do? I have to increment this. What is what is happening after completing the loop? Where it is going? It is going to the J plus plus. What is J value will become? J value will become one. The so one is less than five. Yes, it is one is less than five. It's true. If it is true, I should go here. What is A of one? This is A of two. So what is A of one? A of one is seven. A of two is six. Is that right? This is again zero, one, two, three, four, five. This is A of one is seven. Seven is greater than six. Yes, it is true. Yes, it is true. If it is true, we are going to go for swap. So I am going to swap it. Six, seven, fifteen, ten, eleven. Done. So I think it's done. Next, after completion, we are coming here. So done with that. Whether we done with the looping? No, we are not done with the looping. J plus plus J will become two. So two less than five. Is that right? Yes, it is five. So next. I'm going to compare A yeah, of this this element. What is this element? Oh, sorry, A yeah, of zero. The, the, uh, where two values? A yeah, of two. 
is greater than a of two plus one is three. So a of two is greater than a of three. What is a of two? This is a of two. Seven is greater than fifteen. Is that right? No, it is not true. So we are not going to the stop. Again, increment the loop. So j plus plus j will become three. Three less than five. Is it true? Yes, three less than five. If it is true, I am going to. Go so into the loop. What is the loop again here? A of three is greater than A of four. Is that true? A of three. What is A of three? Fifteen. Is greater than ten? Yes, it is true. If it is true, I am going to swap it out. Three, six, seven, ten, fifteen. <coughs> next. In the next iteration, J value becomes four. Four less than five? Yes, it is true. Now it is. Now what happens here? What is this four? A four is greater than a five. A four is greater than a five. So a four. What is a four by fifteen? Fifteen is greater than eleven. Is it true? Yes, it is true. I'm going to swap it. Three, six, seven, fifteen. Sorry, seven, ten, eleven, ten. This is valid. Now done. So after that, uh, swapping is done. When next j value becomes five. Five is less than five. False. We are going out of the block. So we are going out of the block. So this logic is working for how many, how many iterations? Only one batch. How many, how many batches? Only one batch. But how many batches we have to work this logic? The same logic has to be worked for how many large, how many batches? The same logic has to be worked for n minus one batches. Therefore, I am implementing this logic. This logic for how many times? This should be repeated. This logic has to be repeated how many times? Ten minus one times. Therefore, for i equal to zero, i less than n minus one, i plus plus close. This will be repeated for how many times? N minus one. Therefore, this logic. Remember, Ella work of this other nested loop. You know how the nested loop goes. Once the loop is completed, again we'll start this loop. Once this inner loop is completed, again we'll go out of the loop, out of the block, and we'll start this i value will be incremented. Again we'll start from the starting. Is that right? Same you have to do after this batch one. Again take the same input six three seven ten eleven fifteen. Again you start from here three six no. Again increment six with seven no. Again increment seven with ten no increment like that. However, it is been uh, swapped out. However, it been uh, logically it is been in this uh, correct order. But if at all if there are in the what do you say another way, it it is like we have to compare how many how many number of batches. So n minus n minus one number of batches. I equal zero. I equal n minus one. I plus plus. Okay. So it is same thing. This is done. Is it understood, everyone? Any 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 logical. Like, Understanding is has to be done, or anything is to be done. Very easy. So, any doubts up to you? Everyone, no doubts. Okay, no. thank you. Okay, so this this logic will be repeated for n minus one. I'm done. But as I said, as I said, if the iterations, number of batches are going on increasing, the comparisons are decreasing. The comparisons are decreasing. We are decreasing number of comparisons. First, in the batch one, we have done n minus one. In the sorry, in the batch two, n minus two. In the batch three, n minus three. In the batch four. N minus four. That means we are going increasing the number of batches, increasing the number of batches. We are increasing the, sir, decreasing the number of comparisons. How we know? So where the how the batches will be increased by using i value. If the i value increased, this value should be decreased. So I'm making decreased i value. So now i value increases. First, for example, the first two i value will become zero. Therefore, n minus one iterations. In the next for loop, i value becomes i value becomes one. N minus one minus one. What it will become? N minus two. In the next iteration, I value becomes two. 
n minus one minus two. This is n minus. Two. Is that right? Third. Next n minus. Next n minus uh, four. So n minus three. This is n minus four. N minus four. N minus three. So n minus four. N minus five. N minus uh, six. Five. N minus six. Like that it goes on. Oh, if the n values, i value goes on increasing. The n value here, this j value goes on decreasing. Number of comparisons are good. This is by decreasing the number of comparisons, making your uh, algorithm very faster. So, making your algorithm already as per the rule, but this is n minus one. But we are, we are making this algorithm to work very fast because if the number of comparisons increasing, the time will also increases. So therefore, we are decreasing the number of comparisons by using n minus one minus i, where the number of batches increases. The number of compressions should be decreased. So therefore, this I've done. This is i j, j less than or equal to n minus one minus j. The same thing. I equal to zero. If, if this value increases, what is what is the reason of why why did I write n minus one? This represents this represents the number of batches. This represents Number of comparisons in each batch. Therefore, the J to loop, the loop, a for loop of J to loop is for comparisons. The I to loop is for iteration. That is iteration or batches. Iterations are batches. Done. Is it done? Understood. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, as of now, this can be further, further, further can be done to be number of comparisons to be decreased. How can be done is, for example, in the first iteration only, this has been here. There may be the chance of making these elements this order order in the first batches only. We should not go for maximum batches. Therefore, you can do one thing. You make a flag. Fly equal to zero. Fly equal to zero. Fly equal to zero in the first. And right here, so where you write here, fly equal to zero. Fly equal to zero here. And this will be so every time it will be there. So if at all, if at all, for a number of times, if a, after swapping also, after this swapping technology also, if the flag is not, you make flag equal to swapping, you write flag equal to one. The flag is not making, not doing, the, for example, not going for increasing. Uh, so the flag is not going on increasing. No. You may as you done, don't slap it and do break the logic. How it can be done is like. Uh -huh. Sir, I do not understand n minus one minus i, sir. J. Here. Yes, sir. Okay. So, did you understood what is this number of comparisons are decreasing if at all uh, batches are increasing? Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Therefore, yes, sir. Uh, therefore, we have to, however, we have to decrease the number of comparisons. We should not go up further. So, if at all, in the first iteration, n i value is zero. It becomes n minus one. What is n minus six minus one? This is five. So j will be iterated for up to five. In the next iteration, in the next batch process, i value becomes one. Is that right? In the next batch, yes. I'll tell you the batch two. In the batch two, i value becomes one. So therefore, i value one n minus one minus one. This is what is this? Two n minus two. Oh. What is this n minus two? J is less than six minus two. What is this six minus? N is six. Here and this is as per this is this four. We are going to compare only up to four elements, four elements because here in the batch two we are going to compare up to here only. Is that right? Up to, that means J value will be here only. If the zero, one, two, three, here only we are going to compare. Yes, is that right? Zero, one, two, three. That is the thing. If at all again we are going to increase again the next iteration batch two becomes two. So therefore. 
Break the outer loop. Break the outer loop. Don't go for the other batch. Okay. Why? Why? Because like after up to here we have done. There is no swapping. Swapping is happening. Why we have to in the first batch only? Batch one only we have swapped it. Why should I repeat batch two? Why should I repeat batch three? Why should I repeat batch four? N batches. Thereby we are increasing the number of comparisons. That means if the swapping is happened, that flag will become one. Swapping is not happening. Which in the after outer flow also swapping is not happening every time. Then I'll say fly equal to zero. Fly equal to zero. Break it. At least. So what is the? I'm, I'm not coming out of after coming out of this block. After coming out of this block, I'm telling. Remember, this is for this loop. This open process this year. After coming this block, I'm checking because after after coming this block means until after coming this block also it is not swapping at least one also. The No swapping is done. At least one swapping also not done. Therefore, all the elements are disordered. Order. Why should I repeat for the next batch? So therefore, I am making if flag equal to equal to zero. What is that first I initiated? So again, after the loop also, this flag equal to zero. Then break it. So I am not going for further. So therefore, this is the bubble sort. But what is the actual bubble sort is? I am going to write for i equal to zero. I less than n minus one i plus plus for j equal to zero j less than n minus one j plus plus if a of j is greater than a of j plus one. J plus one. So I'm so I'm going to write a logic. So dump equal to A of J. A of J equal to A of J plus one. A of J plus one equal to. This is a logic for dump. So I'm going to. Close this one. I'm closing this one. I'm closing this one. This is actual bubble sort. You can further modify the bubble sort to its very easy extent. That is, for i equal to zero, i less than n minus one, i plus plus. For j equal to zero. J less than n minus one minus i. J plus plus. So you can also implement this flag flag thing also. See, I'm writing with black ink. Flag equal to zero. I'm initializing the starting of the this inner loop. <coughs> flag equal to zero.
Yeah. After that, I'm making. If at all if I'm making phi equal to one means what is happening? The swap is happening here. Swap is happening. If the swap is not happening, I'm closing this. After this, here, after this, I'm checking. Fly equal to equal to zero. That means after the inner loop, after inner loop which is completed here, this is inner loop completed here. There is no one at least one time also it is not swapped. So until you can swap only one time, that means the fly will not become zero one. So it is all as it is after the inner loop also. If that case, I'm going to break it, the outer loop. I'm going totally I'm going to break it out of the outer. Loop. Why need? Why have to continue because? There is no at least there is no at least one swap pass. This. What is the extra thing I've added is to make it uh, uh, less to decrease the time complexity to decrease number of steps to be compared. Have done this is the changes. What is the changes between this one to that one? Is it understood, everyone? Yes. Sir. Any any doubts? Any doubts? Everyone in the class. Okay. So if this there is no doubts, so this is the logic you have to implement. So note it down if you want it. Meanwhile, give your attendance. Seventy-one. Present, sir. Seventy-two. Present, sir. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Present, sir. Seventy-five. Present, sir. Seventy-six. Present, sir. Seventy-seven. Present, sir. Seventy-eight. Present, sir. Seventy-nine. Present, sir. Eighty. Present sir. Eighty one. Present sir. Eighty two. Present sir. Eighty three. Present sir. Eighty four. Present sir. Eighty five. Present sir. Eighty six. Present sir. Eighty seven. Present sir. Eighty eight. Present sir. Eighty nine. Present sir. Ninety. Present sir. Ninety one. Present sir. Ninety two. Ninety three. Present sir. Ninety four. Present sir. Ninety five. Ninety five. Absent. Ninety six. Absent. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Okay. Ninety eight. Present sir. Ninety nine. Present sir. Hundred. Hundred. One of one. One of one. One of two. Present sir. One of three. Present sir. One of four. Present sir. One of five. Present sir. One of six. One of seven. Sir, one not six. Yes seven. sir. Okay. One of eight. Present sir. One o nine. Present sir. One ten. Present sir. One eleven. Present sir. One twelve. Present sir. One thirteen. One fourteen. Present sir. One fifteen. One sixteen. One seventeen. One fifteen present sir. One seventeen present. One eighteen. Sir, you got disconnected due to network issues. Current. Okay. One nineteen. Present sir. One nineteen. 
present sir. 120 124 present sir 121 present 122 present 123 124 present sir 125 126 present sir 127 present sir 128 128 129 present sir 130 present sir 131 present sir 132 present sir 134 last sorry sir sorry 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 133 last <coughs> Sir, your wife is like lagging someone. <coughs> sir, stop. Not one, sir. Not one. Present, sir. Okay. Sir, sir, sir. Next 120. Present, sir. 128 present. Sir, 110 present, sir. Yeah, 110 is present already. Yes, 116 also present. Okay, so any doubts, you can stay here. If you don't have any doubts, you can leave. And your portion for your uh, mid exam is up to matrices. So we'll be completing up to matrices in this week and we'll have exam up to matrices. So by tomorrow, I'll be sharing your notes, array notes. And okay. any doubts? If you don't have doubts, you can leave. Sir, my code is not working. Which code? It's only sorting. Show it. Sir, screen share permission. Ah, sir, sir.